Hi, this is Phil from Aspies Arms. We are here today to talk about a really cool enhancement we have for our rifle and chassis systems. And it involves a method for the individual shooter to be able to weight tune their rifle and chassis. So let me kind of show you how this thing works. Uh, you have a series of weights. You got this weight and this weight that are gonna go into the pockets on the front of the fore end of the chassis. Okay, you've got this enhanced bag rider and this solid monopod that are going to be installed onto the buttstock. To install these weights, you're going to use uh, these inserts that are going to go into these oblong slots in the chassis, as you see right here. Okay, so those are going to be dropped in before you put in the weights, and then you're going to run some fasteners into in through this into the weight to be able to hold it in place. Okay, to install the weight, and it's a really these are really tight fit. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to drop this down into the chassis just like so. Okay, and then we're going to do the same thing for the rear weight. Okay, so check that out. So if you notice that the there's a really uh, clean, consistent radius between uh, the chassis and these weights. So you have no interference with whatever barrel contour that you are running uh, on this MPA chassis. So if you're running an M24, an M40, a heavy varmint, whatever, there will not be any interference with these weights. So you have pure uh, clearance. Um, there also is no uh, limitations to the, any of the other technology that we have on our chassis when you install these weights. There is a slot cut in the bottom of this front weight that allows the spigot mount to be installed. Um, obviously, you can see right here the rat system is in play, and all the barricade stop holes are will also be uh, usable while these weights are installed on the chassis. Okay, so that takes care of the front end. On the back end, you have this uh, solid monopod, and this is not designed to be deployed. It is designed to be installed into this slot right here on the buttstock. It'll fit up inside of that cutout you see right here and it'll be locked in place. And then you have this in, a steel version, an all steel version of an enhanced bag rider. And again, that will be installed on the buttstock as you normally would install our enhanced bag rider. Uh, one, one thing to note that the angle of this enhanced bag rider can be changed. So if you want to have a little bit of angle uh, to this bag rider as it's installed on your chassis, uh, you can do so. And we'll explain that in another video. I just thought I'd throw that in there. Uh, this, you're looking at about 1.2 pounds, 1.1 pound, 1 pound, and 1.2 pounds. So you've got about 4.5 pounds that you can uh, that you can add to the, uh, to the overall weight of your rifle assembly. Okay, so uh, this, what got this, uh, this technology kind of in, in motion was we had some requests from some shooters that wanted to be able to add weight at different locations on their chassis. Uh, one in particular was running a very heavy barrel contour on his rifle and also running the suppressor. So you could imagine a heavy contour with a can on the front of his rifle changed the balance point of his rifle from the way it was originally designed. So he was looking uh, to be able to add weight to the back end. And then after talking to some other shooters that have done some personal modifications to the rifle to add overall weight to be able to better manage recoil, we thought that we would combine those two concepts into what you see here. Uh, but it does really two things. It gives the individual shooter, through the uh, use of, of one, two, three, or four, or in any combination, the ability to change the balance point of their rifle based on their shooting style and technique. It also gives a shooter who wants to be able to run a, uh, a heavier caliber, such as a 308 or a 65, and have the recoil uh, much less than what you would if uh, under the previous weight of the rifle assembly. So you, you can imagine if you have a rifle that weighs 17 or 18 pounds and you're able to add four and a half pounds to it, you're taking that rifle to over 22 pounds, the difference in recoil and being able to manage recoil, that's going to provide. Uh, as one of you, as you guys have, may have seen, we have a testing sled where we can actually measure recoil. And we're going to be doing some testing here over the next couple of weeks where we're showing the use of these weights.
uh, as com like with a 308 and a 65 and a six millimeter Dasher and a 224 Valkyrie, where we're comparing the recoil amount with and without these weights and the effect that it has on recoil management. And of course, all of you guys know in the PRS how important that is. So this is going to be officially introduced at SHOT Show 2018 here in a couple weeks out in Las Vegas. It'll be on the website here in the next couple weeks as well. But um, we're very excited about this thing. So thank you guys for watching. Check it out at MassPeaceArms.com.